Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Instant Engineering. Today, I'm going to continue the previous uh, video of Unit 4, Over Voltage Protection and Insulation Coordination for uh, BTEC Triple students, third year, first sem. Alright, so there are previous videos. If you want to check back, please check back those videos. There's a playlist called uh, Power Systems 2. You can check there. Okay, so in that, the next question is explain briefly about arcing grounds. What is meant by this arcing grounds? Okay, so if you consider an overhead line of a three phase ungrounded system with an earth fault, there is an earth fault here, see, at point F on phase B as shown in the figure. So this is a three phase network, I mean three phase uh, system R, Y, B. So see here for each phase there is one capacitor connected and across the B phase there is some uh, fault, okay, we will consider fault as F, okay. So then we will see what happens. So see each line of the system will have an inherent capacitance distributed throughout the line with respect to earth as shown in the figure. I will just show you. See each of this uh, is having a capacitor connected here. Okay. Which is grounded. Okay. It is capacitor is there. This is called inherent capacitance. Okay. When earth fault occurs on any of the line, the gap between the faulty conductor and earth breaks down due to which the distributed capacitance of the faulty line discharges directly to the earth through the fault point F. Like he said, so if there is any fault occurs in the line, okay. So the gap between this faulty conductor and the earth and between the earth will be break down. See, it will be break down and it, the, it will, the faulty line discharges directly to the earth through the fault point F. It will discharge directly to the this fault point F to the earth. It will go back to the earth, okay. This capacitance again will charge from the supply and gain again gets discharged to the earth. The continuous charging and discharging of the line to earth capacitance results in formation of repeated arcs between line and the ground which is known as arcing grounds. Okay. Now I will clearly again explain you. See. Now this is a three phase network R, Y, B. Now we are telling there is a fault at uh, B, B phase. Okay. Now see, when there is a fault, generally the current will be flowing through this one, right? Here IR current will be going towards this resistor, uh, towards this capacitor. Again here IV, IY and here IB current should flow. So when there is a fault, what happens? The current will discharge directly to the earth. That means it is, the current is discharging to the earth. Again, from here, it, the conductor will conduct. Again, it will charge. Again, it will discharge here. So this charging and discharging which is a continuous process. This continuous charging of discharging of the line to the earth capacitance result in formation of. This will result in formation of some arcs. That is nothing but it is called as which is grounding that is called as arcing grounds. Understood? Nothing. The current over here will be going to the ground. Again it will charge. It is charging. It is discharging. This is called as arcing grounds. I hope it is clear. I just read through once again. I hope you will understand that. Each line of the system will have an inherent capacitance distributed throughout the line. Yes. When at fault will occur on any of the line, the gap between the faulty conductor and the earth breaks down. Yeah, due to which the distributed capacitance, whatever is there of the faulty line, it will discharge directly to the earth to fault point F. This capacitance again will charge. Capacitance is nothing but charging and discharging, right? Capacitance phenomena is. So it will charge from the supply again and gets discharged to the earth. So this continuous charging and discharging of the line to earth capacitance results in formation of repeated arcs between line and ground which is known as arcing grounds. I hope this is clear. Right? It's very easy. Charging and discharging is nothing but arcing grounds. Okay? I hope you understand. Thank you.